FX8350. I know it's six years old, but I've got an Unraid box uh, I just picked up used with an FX4100 and uh, not enough cores for doing like the Amazon and stuff like that. So picked this up for cheap, 100 bucks. I'm actually really excited. My first ever AMD build, or first ever custom PC build, uh, was an AMD Athlon 2800 Plus um, Barton Core back in probably 2001 or something like that. So uh, it's the first time I've had uh, an, an AMD chip since then. Um, so pretty excited. Yeah. I'll show you uh, putting it in. Before we get to that, let's open it up. I want to see it in all its glory. Ooh. Look at that. AMD FX sticker and all. Nice, 2011. Stock cooler, should be good enough as a server. Stock paste, probably wipe that off and add some uh, custom paste. Get to it. Here's the rig I just picked up. Uh, it's a Rosewood ca case, uh, 12, 12 bay FX4100 Asus board. Um, using it for my business, uh, backing everything up, and using VM for my ERP and accounting software. But the FX4100 isn't quite cutting it for the VMs. Uh, over here, I've got actually my old one. I was using this Chenbro case, so it was a 16 bay case, but it's got uh, dual Xeon E5405, which are, you know, circa 2007 Harpertown. Um, having issues with CPU scaling, frequency scaling in Unraid. Uh, They're uh, running at 100% all the time, and so it wasn't really working out for me, so I thought I'd uh, get something a little bit newer. Uh, this here is an HP ProLiant. Was it uh, DL360G7, dual Xeons as well, I can't remember exactly what, selling both of those. But uh, yeah, this is what I'm working on. I'm gonna get to putting the 350 in it. So yeah, here's my uh, Unraid setup. I'm going to go ahead and launch my uh, ERP virtual machine. Go ahead and remote into it. So yeah, I'm noticing quite a performance difference since moving from the uh, the FX4100 and uh, because I'm running some other dockers and probably going to running a PFSense virtual machine and stuff like that, I couldn't assign too many cores to it, right? And the two cores, the two FX4100 cores I assigned to it, um, the virtual machine was actually running really choppy, it was really slow, it was actually unbearable, so that's why I chose to upgrade. And uh, obviously it's not performance critical, but just as a point of comparison, what I did is I ran some uh, Cinebench tests uh, with two cores, uh, two of the FX4100 cores assigned to it, the Cinebench score was 114. With two of the 8350 cores assigned to it, I got 143. And with six of the uh, 8350 cores assigned to it, I got a score of 453. Let's go ahead and uh, boot up launch uh, Cinebench and I've got four cores assigned to it now and we can see what we can get 
But uh, what I'm noticing, though, like I said, with the FX4100, um, the virtual machine was basically unusable. But with two cores of the FX8350, uh, I would say the virtual machine is usable. I'll probably stick with the signing four cores for now, because I don't need to use that many. Uh, you know, I'm not doing that many other things with the other cores. I mean, PFSense is pretty low, low overhead, uh, so I don't need a lot. But if I ever need to, because I want to initiate other VMs or whatever, uh, two cores might be might be sufficient. You know, it runs pretty smooth. So let's give her a shot and see what happens. You know, it was interesting when I was taking that FX4100 out. Um, the old factory paste that was on there was so dried up that pulling out the heatsink actually ripped it out of the CPU socket. I had to use a knife to pry the CPU off the heatsink. It was so dry. So yeah, it's a good thing I wiped off that uh, that manufacturer applied uh, thermal paste, and I you know put some good Arctic Silver on there. Um, because I don't want that stuff driving up on me, especially because I've noticed some, you know, ever since using this 8350 that this chipset runs quite hot. The North Bridge is really, really hot. The North Bridge especially runs really, really hot. So hot that when I have to restart Unraid, uh, the motherboard doesn't want to post until it cools down. So I've actually placed an order for, you know, a new CPU who's saying, so I said, what the hell, they're pretty cheap anyway, that can uh, handle a little bit more heat dissipation than the stock one. But then also a, a fan to point directly at the uh, North Bridge. I'll probably take it apart and reapply some some good Arctic civil, Silver to uh, the North Bridge heat sink. Uh, and hopefully they can eliminate that problem. And maybe, you know, if there's good airflow with a better heat sink on the CPU, maybe I can overclock it. Uh, just a little bit, just to squeeze a little bit more performance out of it. Nothing crazy, you know, maybe just to all core at 4.2 or 4.3 or something like that. But look at that, we've got uh, four cores of the 8350 running at uh, 305 Cinnamon score. So, there you have it. <laughs>